This video explains Rubric 1, which is used to evaluate alignment to standards and how it should be applied in the OER evaluation tool. Rubric 1 is applied to objects that can be aligned to standards and it is used to rate the degree that an individual object aligns to a proposed standard. While this rubric could be used with any set of standards, it was specifically designed for the Common Core State Standards and those are the standards you can use to align to objects in the OER Commons website. Degree of quality can only be assessed after alignment to a particular standard or standards has been assigned. Alignment review of standards involves two major aspects, content and performance expectations. The content addressed in the object should match the content addressed in the proposed standard, and evaluating the alignment of the performances required is equally important. This is what Rubric 1 looks like in the evaluation tool before any standards have been aligned. If no standards apply to a given object, or if you are unfamiliar with the Common Core State Standards, users should click Skip as not applicable. You can then rate the object using the other rubrics. A raw set of data is an example of an object that may not align to standards. To align a resource to a standard, click Align Resource. If an object has already been aligned to standards, but you would like to align it to a new standard, click Add an Additional Standard. When aligning an object to a new standard, you must first select which set of standards you would like to choose from, Common Core Math or ELA, then the Grade, Learning Domain, and Alignment tag in order. Then click Add Selected Tag. You can always remove the standard if you change your mind. Click Return to Evaluation to rate the object's alignment to the standard. You can also evaluate standards that have already been tagged to the object by other users and can select them by clicking on the tags. In the tool you can see the scoring descriptors by moving your mouse over the rating numbers. You can select your rating by clicking on the number that has the best rating description for the object's relationship to this rubric. Notice that you have an opportunity to leave a comment related to this evaluation by clicking the comment button in the bottom left hand corner. If you select a rating but are still unsure, you can delete that rating and return to this rubric at a later time by clicking on Clear Rating, also at the bottom left, next to the Comment button. You can click the Previous Standard and Next Standard buttons to switch from evaluating one standard to the next. An object has superior alignment if all content and performance expectations in the standard are addressed completely in the object and if the content and performance expectations are the focus of the object. Superior aligned standards should not be a peripheral part of the object and deserve a 3 rating. An object should be rated strong, a 2 rating, for alignment to standards for one of two reasons. 1. Minor elements of the standard aren't addressed in the object, or 2. The content or performance expectations of the standard align to a minor part of the object. An object has limited alignment and deserves a 1 rating if a significant part of the content or performance expectations of the standard is not addressed in the object, as long as there is some part of the standard covered in the object. An object has very weak or no alignment to a standard, a 0 rating, for one of two reasons. Either the object does not match the intended standard, this would apply if someone else aligned a standard to an object and you disagreed with them, or if the object matches minimally to an important aspect of the standard. Remember that if you believe an object does not apply to any standards, to skip it and to go on to the other rubrics for evaluation. If you are satisfied with your rating, click on Save and Go to Next Rubric in the bottom right corner.